video i just want to come through and share with you guys my top tips for potty training a two-year-old baby girl um toddler but so far Naomi has been doing really good she is two years old she'll be three september 23rd so she has some time but um she's been doing really good potty training mind you i work full time so she is at daycare during the day so daycare helps out with potty training but right now she's in pull-ups and then at this daycare where she's at she has to wear diapers during the day which sucks but she uses the potty at daycare at first she wasn't but now she's been using the potty at least four times at daycare so i'm excited about that she's getting the hang of it so i just wanted to share with you guys what i've been doing at home to help her with potty training um and what has worked for us she's like 85 to 90 percent there so i'm so excited about it i'm so excited to not have to buy pampers <laughs> anymore and wipes and all that so she's been doing so good so anyways let's get to the video so uh, my first tip is to get nice cute little underwear you know her favorite characters Minnie Mouse she loves Frozen and so go to Walmart Target get the packs of underwear I'm just messing up her drawer and she loves to wear them even if she's not you know using the potty yet she wants to wear them throw them over her her diaper or whatever and just let her get the the fill for them but that's what we did in the beginning and now she wears panties every day when she gets home from school um she wears panties and on the weekend she wears panties as well so my next is to invest in a potty chair i like this because it um you can sit it right on your regular toilet it has a footstool she gets up here all on her own and uses the potty by herself and she doesn't even need my help so i really like that um so sometimes i take this downstairs if we're downstairs um during the weekend um but i usually keep it up here and if we're downstairs i help her use the potty but so it rotates between her bathroom and the downstairs bathroom but it's so easy it just holds and then when you want to put it up you can go ahead and put it up like that close the toilet and call it a day so yeah i love that oh, it's nice out here but anyways yeah i recommend letting them be way more independent so um when they're using the restroom try not to help them as much make sure they can pull down their underwear pull down their panties um flush the toilet wash their hands pull their pants and panties back up etc but get a step stool so that they can wash their hands um oh yeah and um sometimes like in the beginning i just let her go there not wear anything um so that way she didn't have any accidents on herself and that helped a lot especially in the beginning and then we live where we live there's playgrounds right outside so when I take her outside, sometimes I let her go play and wear her underwear. But I make sure we are like stay right in front of our house. So that way she can run back to use the bathroom. So it gets her used to stopping what she's doing. Go and use the bathroom. Wash your hands. Come back out and play. So that's how close our one of the playgrounds is to our house. There's another one over there. So... It really helps out a lot but um she is starting to tell me more that she has to go potty um when we're out and about so that's really good and at daycare in the beginning she was not telling them that she had to potty at all she just like refused to go for them she has to she had to get comfortable with them now she goes to the potty at daycare so I'm so happy about that. At first, I was like a little discouraged because I'm like, she uses the potty. Like, she uses the potty all the time at home. 
but she wouldn't do it for them but now she's doing it for them so you just have to be patient give it time you know enjoy the process because you know every every child is going to learn every child is not going to learn in the same time frame i've known kids that were probably trained like fully at one years old <laughs> you know my daughter too and i know some kids that still not potty trained and they're over three or three years old and four so it just depends like every child is different you just have to be patient but make sure you and your spouse do the work at home as well as they're getting the same work at daycare so that way they get comfortable and used to using the bathroom Too much tissue. Hey guys, another thing that has helped me is just getting excited for her after she accomplishes using the potty and whether it's just clapping. Um, she also gets a treat afterwards, a sucker or popsicle or some fruit snacks and she loves that. So that definitely helped us a lot. But anyways, hope you guys enjoyed this quick video. Um, I have more videos coming, so make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.